Okay, so a lot of people have been asking me for a toothpick build video, and so I'm going to kind of do this in a little bit of a different way. There's a crap load of build videos out on the internet, and I don't like regurgitating or reinventing the wheel, so I'm going to do this backwards. So I have here, this is the Beta FPV HX115 HD with the HD recording camera, and I'm going to take it apart and you know, show you how this is built <laughs> from it fully built to fully disassembled. So most of these toothpick type builds are pretty similar. You got motors, you got a frame, you got an uh, all-in-one flight controller like a whip board there which is basically a flight controller and a form and AC and then in this case you have a camera with a camera board and then a video transmitter. So those are your basic parts and I'm going to take it apart here on camera and I'll talk about the parts as the uh, disassembly progresses and at the, I guess once all these parts are exposed, I'll show you how everything's connected. I think that's what most people are interested in. Okay, so in the interest of saving a little bit of time, I've already removed the props. Obviously, you take two screws off, pull the prop off. Not rocket science there. And then I've um, detached the uh, receiver antenna here from the arms. There's on some zip ties here. So that's pretty much it. So first thing you want to do is remove the motors. So there's two screws here on the bottom. Now we see there's four holes here for four screws. They elected to go with two screws. I usually do two screws on these toothpick builds because um, that's usually good enough. And you can use a little bit of Loctite on the screws to hold them uh, so they don't get loose. And it looks like that they've used Loctite on these so they're, and they're pretty good. Okay, so once you remove these screws, the motors are just going to be on these plugs here. We'll go ahead and just unplug them. Now, if your board doesn't have plugs and has solder pads, which actually this board has both, uh, then obviously this step you would just uh, desolder the motors. And this is what I usually do anyway when I, when I build my toothpicks is I build the stack first, the center part, and then I put the motors on last. And by the way, um, if you're wondering where these parts are going to go, they're going to go into this new frame here from Airblade. It's called the, uh, I think it's called the EX. It's a toothpick type of frame with uh, side cages here. You'll see that in the next video. It won't be in this video. Okay, so this particular uh, design has a canopy that's on separate standoffs that are not attached to the stack. A lot of the typical toothpick builds, the canopy will be attached through screws that go all the way through the stack, which is both boards, um, usually a video transmitter board and a flight controller ESC board, and then it'll be attached to some sort of like a TPU canopy or something that's going to hold the camera. Um, this one has uh, standoffs on the outside here, on the side, and in the front that's holding the canopy to the frame, and the stack is not supporting the camera. Okay, so once you take the uh, canopy off here, this is what it looks like. Got your stack there, and, and it looks like that's the video transmitter board. It's a little triangle video transmitter board, and that's screwed into the... Uh, looks like it's screwed into the canopy there, and those little screws there. you got a plug right there, so we'll have to unplug that. And then it uh, looks like the camera wire board, this is the camera, the run cam split mini. Just the camera module over there, it runs underneath this video transfer, so I'll we'll have to remove that video transfer board. Okay, so with the uh, video transmitter board out, I'm going to go ahead and remove the camera from the canopy. So just these two screws on the side. And now the canopy is empty. 
Okay, so now that you see that the uh, camera module is out, you see the camera over here. This is a little bit more complicated of a toothpick build because this is an HD toothpick. And so normally you would just have the camera module here, something like a Runcam Nano 2 or a Cat X EOS 2, and some sort of nano camera. It's 14 millimeters that go into the canopy, and then you wouldn't have this extra board here to deal with. You would just have to deal with the uh, video transmitter board. So it's a little bit more complicated in terms of how they built this. It's not your typical toothpick build, but uh, same concepts will apply. In this case here we have a long screw that goes through this stack here, through the uh, flight controller board, and then uh, also holding the camera module board. And they're, looks like they're on the bottom here. And it looks like these are just nylon screws, so, which is fine because it's not supporting a canopy or camera. It's just holding the stack inside here. So, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll take these nuts off. I think we'll just hold the nuts here with a, some needle nose pliers and unscrew the screw from the bottom, and then basically the whole stack will just come right off. Okay, so you can see now that the four nuts are off, so this whole stack should come apart pretty easily. So this little 3D printer part here holds the, or is a little protector for the micro SD card slot, so the micro SD cards don't get ejected. So I'll pop pop this off first, and then the split mini board should come right off. And you can see where all the wires are soldered here. We'll cover that here in just a second. I'm going to flip that over and you see that there's these spacers here that give space between the uh, flight controller board and the camera board here. So we're going to have to remove those. Okay, so now that those spacers are off, we can just slide the flight controller board right off of the frame. And we're going to be careful here because the receiver is still kind of in this awkward place and you can see where the wires are coming in here so I uh, don't want to pull too hard. Okay so yeah, it's a little tricky but you yeah, should be able to get the receiver out of there. You can see that space there between that battery sticky pad and the frame, the little cutout in the frame, that's where the receiver went. And that's usually where I think a lot of uh, receivers go in a lot of these builds. Sometimes they go between the, um, on top of the flight stack, uh, between that and the canopy. That's also another place where a lot of people will put them. But this is basically your toothpick build. Right here you got your receiver, you got your flight controller, which is your, going to be your flight controller plus your ESCs that drive the motors. And then you have your camera, in this case a camera board for HD. And then a wire here that goes to your VTX. This is the you know, the 12 amp all-in-one board that has the USB board or USB port coming out of the side. And you can see that this has the option for plugs, which they obviously soldered on, or you can solder directly to the motor tabs here. If you want to cut your cut your motor wires and not use the plugs, you can do that too on this particular board. I did a review on this board already a while back. And you got your grommets here, M2 holes, and then for here are your connections for your receiver. So you can see this is an XM Plus receiver, so they're using S Plus here and 5 volts in ground. They have 3.3 volts for your Spectrum receivers if you guys are using Spectrum. And then this is, on this side over here, is all your video stuff. So you got your, let's see here, so this. Run cam split mini here, you got your video and your 5 volts in ground, the red wire and the black wire. And you can see how those are wired in. And then this is your plug for your video transmitter. So you have um, basically yellow is video, so you have that connected to video out right there. The other yellow video is for video in from the camera. And then you got your power for your video transmitter here, 5 volts on ground. And then the white wire there is 
the UART for Smart Audio. Uh, it's probably Smart Audio for this particular video transmitter. So that's your basic build. And obviously you just reverse all the steps to mount it to your frame. And that's the tricky thing about the toothpick builds is it is a little fiddly to mount all the components and then measure the wires and stuff like that. But this is your basic build how you put it together. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to be taking all these parts and sticking them into a new frame here. This is another 3 inch toothpick style uh, frame from Airblade UAV. Stay tuned for that video. That will be coming up pretty soon. Talk to you guys later.